Hey everybody, I'm Tim and today it's time for some good new news and you're watching Cigars Daily. Get more out of this in all our videos when you join the community on Cigars Daily Plus. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. These days when you flip on the TV or go on your phone and you see that there's new news, it's typically pretty horrifying. Unless, of course, you're a cigar aficionado. And then the new news is typically a brand new blend, a collaboration, a limited edition project, or a brand new profile from our favorite cigar makers out there. Artists who, like songwriters, are always working on the next biggest hit. And by God, they do a damn fine job considering that songwriters work with lyrics and words and instruments and all kinds of stuff. And our favorite cigar makers have dead leaves. And that's basically it. Dead Leaves is their ingredient. It's the only thing they've really got to turn to. And they still create this incredibly huge and diverse world of premium cigar profiles. So we're going to dig into that today. But I've got to ask you up front to drop a comment with your favorite new project, even if it's just new to you. The last thing that gave you that Kool-Aid guy, you like, you like lit it up and exploded through the wall and you're like, oh yeah. That experience that keeps you coming back and looking for another blend that can offer something similar. The cigars I'm going to take you through today are all like they've all come out within the last few months. Hell, a few of these have come out as recently as today. So we're on the bleeding edge of what's hot and brand new. And so with no further ado, let's jump right in. Now there's a lot to talk about even just in the last few months projects have been dropping and for the most part these projects have been dropping that were planned for much earlier this year because once again in the cigar industry the one thing we don't do is really anything on time. It's kind of our thing and we're way into it. But certainly cigar makers are delivering on things that they have planned on and intended to put out. The first one I want to talk about today is a cigar that got everyone all hot and bothered and has been out for just a few months from every everybody's favorite like how home name cigar maker and that's AJ Fernandez a few years back he came out with a blend called Dia de Gloria a very fancy sounding brand that got some moderate traction and this sometimes happens with a brand a cigar maker comes out with a cigar that's it's not as hot or as popular as the new world Oscuro or the new world Cameroon or hell maybe even the New World Connecticut, until he puts a Brazilian Matafina wrapper on the Dias de Gloria Brazil. This cigar just came out a few months ago with a lot of really impressive reviews from aficionados out there, people who have lit into this and exclaimed about a cigar that's stout with pepper and spice, also has some nice leather and espresso notes to it. Not necessarily like the strong cigar that's more chocolatey as much as it's peppery and spicy and really, really rough and rugged on flavor, but still has a really nice balanced profile. And it's got green packaging, which by the way, I complain about all the time, but I got to say in the context of Brazil, this one actually like seems pretty damn well presented. The cigar has done well on its own. And I think that for the fans of stronger cigars, this one's been a bit of a crowd pleaser and certainly the kind of success that I at least hope AJ has been looking for. And of course, we've also now donned the age of the C-Note cigar, one that costs as much as a fine steak dinner with tax and tip. And so just about everybody either has one or is planning one. These certainly aren't the first $100 cigars out there, but uh, these days they're becoming rife with regularity. This one, though, is from my father. My gosh, my father put out the Don Pepin Garcia 20th anniversary in two different blends. Something that, as you're going to see in this video, it seems to sort of be catching on over there at my father. But this cigar right here comes in two blends, one the Connecticut and the other one a Corojo. So there's a variety here depending on what type of aficionado is looking into it. Some people like milder, some people like a little bit more of that spice that comes with the Corojo leaf. But both of these blends feature some choice leaf from the Garcia family collection of leaf. They grow their own stuff and so the best, most top tier leaf they keep aside for their special projects and among that they use the most select leaf to put out these cigars now these were originally released 
with an Ellie Blue humidor. I did a whole review and showed the thing on the channel here. The damn thing costs as much as a car. The big hullabaloo about this is that they only made 75 of these humidors. Now, when limited edition cigars come out, very often you'll see limited quantities tend to be something around 2,000 boxes of 20. So you can do the math on that real quick and discover that that's a lot of cigars, but that's what limited production is. Typically something that there's not going to be an indefinite amount of it. Popular cigars these days, they can roll as many as a million of one blend in one size a year. That's sort of like the pinnacle of the, like the most popular cigars that are being made right now. So when you put out a cigar that you're only going to make 20 to 30 to 40,000 of them, you're talking about a pretty limited quantity. These are made in even more limited of a quantity than that. And with those Ellie Blue humidors, it makes them a damn thing to find. And so certainly for the people who are looking for something to sit down in the lounge and light up and show off to their friends that I spent $100 on this cigar and all their friends are like, what's he doing? He's got $100 to burn on a cigar. I saw that guy picking a sandwich out of the trash can in his apartment last week. This is the kind of cigar that will give you that very polished experience. Now, of course, I wouldn't be getting out of this video without mentioning the project I have been most excited about this year, and that is the Earth by Oscar Daily Edition. This Corojo cigar has been one of the most well-received and most well-loved projects that I have been involved with or seen come out this year. People all over have been posting these and their affections for them, which just, by the way, makes me feel great. I love Oscar Valderas and the way that he seems to really harness what is special about Honduran leaf, which is this very earthy nature. That's why we call the cigar Earth by Oscar. At the same time, I should let the people know who are excited about Earth that we've already got in production the Flat Earth by Oscar, which is going to be a box-pressed version of this cigar. And by the way, an homage to those of you who know the truth. If you know, you know. And the next cigar I can't really talk about without just, I don't know, making fun of it a lot and in a lot of different ways. And so let's go through some of those. This is the Los Tados Deluxe Connecticut. It is a... A cigar whose logo looks like a WNBA basketball team. It's packaged apparently to look like a tampon and the initials Los Status Deluxe are just LSD. It's a wacky cigar that makes a lot more sense when you hear that it's a collaboration between Justin Andrews at Diesel Cigars and Room 101's very crazy Matt Booth. But the accolades about this cigar come from its flavor profile. These days there are a lot of Connecticut shade blends coming out that are giving some real presence, some real volume with flavor. And this one right here does that very well. I think probably one of the hottest and most sought out Connecticut's right now is Matt Booth's Room 101 Johnny Tobacco Knot, which is very difficult to find just about anywhere. But what I've heard is that this guy right here is being called sort of your poor man's Johnny Tobacco Knot, being that it's like 30 or 35% less than what the Johnny Tobacco Knot is and one hell of a very similar flavor experience. And now we're going to move to ultra recent releases. I've gotten a couple of these on my desk just today. And so, and I don't think there's been a ton of like press release information out there about these, probably like an article on Half Wheel, but not like you've seen stuff plastered all over for these. But this is a new My Father limited edition project that I actually have got a really excited feeling in my bones about. This is My Father's Jaime Garcia, this is called the Successor. Successor. If you read the band in English, it's Successor, but I think it's Successor. I think that's Spanish for Successor. Anyway, it's beside the point. Just like the Don Pepin 20th Anniversary $100 Amazing Cigar, they have created a limited edition release with two different blends in two different shapes. There's a Toro, a soft box press Toro here with an Ecuador Sumatra wrapper over Nicaraguan binder and fillers. And then they did a Torpedo. And this one has a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper leaf also over Nicaraguan binders and fillers. Now, it should be said that similar to that 20th anniversary, you know, 
really expensive cigar. These two also use Garcia family leaf from their special reserve of hand-picked leaf and special blends that they put together just for this project. Not the type of thing where they've got the quantity or volume of this quality leaf that they're going to make these all the time. This is a single run deal, but these two blends stand out as very, very different from each other. One of them a little bit hardier, a little bit more medium to medium plus in strength. And of course that's the Toro size here. And the other one a little smoother, more velvety smoke with almost like a breadiness to the flavor, uh, a little bit more cinnamon or cooking spices to it. And between the two, I found that the Torpedo is the one that for me edges out as a favorite. And I did just get these today and I have gone through both of them today. And so definitely like an interesting take on the blend where the wrapper at the very least has been changed up for two incredibly different experiences. These things come in boxes of 14. And for my father fans who didn't even know that a special edition Jaime Garcia was coming out, well, one is. In fact, it's out. It's here. It's already officially out there in the wild. And hell, as long as we're talking about limited edition cigars, how about another installment in a trilogy of limited edition releases? Which just sounds like a weird thing to say, but in the world that we currently occupy, it is not. Diesel Cigars has been putting out their limited edition lines in trilogies or series, if you will. They did this with the hair of the dog and the diesel delirium and they had a few in that one then they did the diesel sunday gravy series and they had the gabagool and the they had like four different sunday gravy cigars this is the fool's Aaron series and all of them are these short perfecto and so far they've been these darker short perfecto cigars about a five inch by 58 figurato shape now i'll say this I don't know how Justin Andrews does it, but he makes damn fine limited edition cigars that don't typically end up with a limited edition cigar shelf price, and this one is no exception. It's the second installment called The Worthy Fool, and this thing comes out with some really nice, full strength, full flavor experience, leather, a little bit of chocolate in there, but really characterized by a powerful like leather and more espresso type flavor. I like the balance of this cigar because it's bold, strong, and it's got everything that I've come to expect from diesel, which is blended to be one hell of a powerful smoke. And of course, at this point, I think we're, we're, we're onto the third cigar in the trilogy after this, which based on the way I know trilogies go, that has to be the origin story. So Justin Andrews, when you're watching this, this has got to be the, this we, somehow we have to go back in time. It's Prometheus. It's the, you know, the Hannibal Lecter series. We have to go back to before the beginning and start over and like deal with the family issue from the way that movies work. Let's, but you know, somehow I'm sure you'll, you'll be fine. You'll tie it all together. After all, these series things for whatever reason are like your thing, I guess. And with that, you have it. Some of the newest, most sought out and unknown cigars that hit the market. It amazes me, you know, cigar makers truly are like artists. They spend a lot of time working on a project and all of the like auxiliary stuff, like, I don't know, letting people know that it's going to come out doesn't always get as much focus and attention as one would like it to. And so it gives me the opportunity to make videos like this and hopefully bring people inside of the fact that, oh my gosh, my father released two new limited edition blends. I had no idea. My God, they would have been gone before you ever even knew they were there. You guys can find more about these on the community on Cigar. Cigars Daily Plus, but of course, I want to ask you to drop your comment down below. Again, with the new project that's titillated your taste buds, the project that has got you all hot and bothered and excited and looking for that next very exciting blend, I cannot wait to hear more about that from you guys down below. Thanks again so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily, and I will see you in the comments.